Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video I'm going to guide you on how to install Doom 2016 from Steam on Wine for Ubuntu. So we're going to go first go ahead and open up a terminal. Alright, we're going to need to do this so that we can get Vulkan running. I'm going to type in sudo apt-get space install space Vulkan dash U-T-I-L-S. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type in my password. All right, once it's done, we can now close this. That's very important if you want to get Vulkan up and running. So I'm going to close this. Next up, we will need Play on Linux 4.2.10. So if I go here, I have 4.2.10 installed. Please make sure you have this version installed. I'm going to close that. Now we want to head over to Tools, Manage Wine Versions, and we're going to go to the AMD 64 part right here. So I'm going to click this, and you're going to want to select 2.0-RC2-Staging on the left here. You'll click this arrow, and it will appear on the right once it's done installing. I already have it installed. It's absolutely important that it's RC2 and that it's staging. Staging will allow you access to Vulkan. RC2 already has the bcrypt patches in it, so we don't have to do that work. This is the only version that will currently work with Doom 2016. So we're going to close this. So now we're going to go ahead and install Steam, which will allow us to install Doom. We're going to click Install, that big button right there. Then we're going to go to the bottom left and click Install a non-listed program. All right, we're going to click Next. We're going to click Install a program in a new virtual drive. You can name this anything you want, but I'm going to be descriptive. I'm going to type this as Steam 64-bit Doom. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to tick use another version of wine and I'm going to tick configure wine. That's all we really need to do. I'm going to click next. I'm going to select 2.0-RC2-Staging. This is important. Click next. This is also important. We're going to do a 64-bit Windows installation only, not 32-bit. Doom will only run in 64-bit, so make sure 64-bit is selected. Go ahead and click Next. Alright, so we're going to do this small installers. Let's go ahead and click Install for those. Alright, so this small window is going to pop up. Now it's very important that what you're initially testing, you want to go to the Graphics tab right here. You're going to want to tick Emulate a Virtual Desktop and you want to set this to a smaller size than your full screen. So that when you test the game, it doesn't fully hang your entire system. So I'm going to set mine to 1600 by 900. You don't have to do this, but it is better to do this so that things are safe. That's all we need to do there. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to Downloads because this is where I downloaded Steam Setup.exe. It's very important that you downloaded the Windows version of Steam. So I have Steam Setup.exe here. I'm going to click Open. I'm going to click Next. It's going to start up. I'm going to go through the installation of Steam very quickly here. Next, I agree. Next, English. Next, next, next. Okie doke. So at this point, it'll want us to log into an existing account, which I already have one. I'm going to do that right here. Okie dokes. So now we're going to go to library and games, and you should already have Doom purchased. So I do. I'm just going to type in Doom. It's there. All you need to do at this point is click install and go through the installation process, which can take several hours or up to a day because this is over 60 gigabytes worth. I'm going to skip this part and simply copy my install files from another directory. Okay, Doom has finished installing. Before I'm going to run it, I'm going to close Steam first by clicking Exit at the top left. It's going to give a usual error message, no problem there. Okay, let's bring this up. So now it's the time to make a shortcut. So I'm going to make a shortcut to Steam, which is specifically Steam.exe here. I'm going to type Steam 64 Doom. All right, I'm going to click Next. You can type anything you want there. This is just to be specific. Okay, it's done. All I have to do is click Cancel there. So now we have a link to the Steam 64-bit Doom install. So I'm going to go ahead and run it by clicking the big Run button up there. It's going to log into Steam again. Okie dokes, I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to offline mode. I'm going to go to library. 
So there's two ways Doom can start up. It can start up in an OpenGL mode, which is the default, or it can start up in Vulkan. So we're going to test Vulkan right here to force it to start up in Vulkan. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to set launch options. And I'm going to type in the following. Plus R underscore render capital A P I. And then we'll put space and I'm going to type in one. One means it's going to set it to Vulkan. If you set that to zero, it means it's going to go to OpenGL. Let's click OK. Let's click Close. Let's click Play and let's see if it works. So this is one common issue I see. It doesn't, it's not able to synchronize itself with the Steam Cloud save files if there's already one. I don't care. I just want to click Play Game and run it straight away. Okay, so first it'll show a black screen when it's starting up. The point of success is when the mouse pointer appears and then we see the Bethesda logo. At this point it can take quite a while. If it's the first time you're starting it up, it can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute or two. Okay, first sign of success, the mouse pointer appeared. And there you have it, the Bethesda logo appears. So it is working. Now just let's, let's confirm that the Vulcan startup is correct. When we get into the game, I'm going to check the game settings. It should be set to Vulkan. So if you're wondering how to play this in full screen rather than just windowed mode, I will showcase how to do that in one moment. That'll be the last part of the video. So it's starting up OK. It's always going to ask this no matter how many times you go through this because it's not able to remember those settings yet. All right, there you go. It looks like the Doom Steam version is working. If I were to click Shift Tab, looks like Shift Tab doesn't work. Now if I go to Campaign, I'm going to go to New. Slot, I'm going to go to settings and I go to advanced and you see at the top right it's in Vulkan mode So we are successful in sending it to Vulkan This requires a graphics card that supports Vulkan and a graphics driver that supports Vulkan And you also need Vulkan utils installed on Ubuntu as I showed at the beginning of the video So I'm going to go ahead and exit the game It's going to bring me back to the desktop So now I'm going to show you how to run it in full screen mode if you want to run it in full screen mode safely. So this is how it runs in windowed mode. I'm going to click configure. I'm going to go to the wine tab. I'm going to click configure wine. I'm going to close that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the graphics tab. I'm going to keep the emulate a virtual desktop ticked. That's a good thing. We want to keep that. And I'm going to set the resolution to my full screen resolution, which is 1920 by 1080p. I'm going to click apply and I'm going to click OK. So all you really need to do now is just click run on the game. It should be full screen like this and then you can run the game. You can run Doom in full screen mode. All right, that's it for this video, guys. I hope it helped you in one way or another. And thank you for watching.